I recently received my Brick Trax R104 injection molded switches. So we're going to assemble them and see how they work. So here they are fully assembled. I'm going to use the included R104 curves of various types to create a 90 degree R104 corner to test my trains on. First I'll try some slow speed testing and then we'll ramp it up. Now backing through. Well, that seemed to be good. Once again, a successful test. turning mechanism is really simple. You can either just turn this with your hands, you can put an axle in the middle, or you can just attach any brick oops, right to it. Here it is from underneath. Just turns this bar. So, this is very simple, but it allows us to make Lego switch stands realistically for the first time, which I'm very grateful for. The switches are also spring-loaded, allowing me to do things like this. Train goes right through, and out the other direction. You can also set up the switches like this, and with even more packs, create a yard ladder with the help of his short track pack. Overall, I really like these switches. They're something we really needed in the community because of their wide radius. I did have a small issue with the right switch when it first showed up though. The rubber band was not 100% engaging the points, but I have since fixed that and I hear that the creator has rectified the issue on all the future switch kits coming, so that's good. So, yep, these are the Brick Tracks injection molded, they even say BT on the studs, R104 switches.